Welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. I'm Shane. You can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3, or you can sign up for the Code Karate newsletter right here on CodeKarate.com. Today we have another exciting episode. We are on episode number 37. Today we're going to be talking about the Image Field Crop Module. And it's a pretty cool module that you can just drop in, and what it allows you to do is it allows you to select the area to crop on the image that you upload. And I'm sure you've used other sites that have a widget like this in enabled, but we'll go ahead and show you how easy it is to get it up and running on a Drupal 7 site. So I have a pretty basic Drupal 7 site here. I am going to start by hopping into the command line and using Drush. I'm going to download the image field crop module. I'm going to come over to the modules page and I'm going to find that module here and it's the image crop module. I'm going to turn it on and click save and now that that is turned on I am going to go over and by default, I have a content type called article that already has an image field enabled on it. So I'm going to go to content types. I'm going to click on manage fields under the article content type. You could create your own content type and just add an image field. That would work as well. But just to show you how this works, click on manage field, come to the image field, and I'm going to select, click on this widget here and change the widget to image with cropping. So now that we have that set up, it will be saved and I'm going to go ahead and add a new article. And now we're going to go to select an image. I am going to just go ahead and grab an image here, click on open, and click the upload button. And now you can see I have this I have two images here. This is the final rendered display of the image and this here is the full sized image that I can select from. So as you can see I can move this around and select different areas from the image and you can see how it's going to render right here. So I'm going to click Save on this and now you can see I have my article pretty easy. The module just works as advertised. However, if you look at the image, you can notice that there is a little bit of blurring going on. So there's a couple things we can do to make the quality a little bit better. So the first thing is we're, in, we're going to come back in to the article content type. We're going to click edit and we're going to make sure that the resolution that it gets cropped to is set to the correct size that we want it to be set to because as you'll notice the resolution is 200 width by 150 height but the display here if we take a look is about 480 by 300 ish somewhere in there and so we'll go ahead and we'll do a couple things to fix that we want the resolution to be let's go ahead and use just use this value here 640 by 480 so we'll make it a, a larger image and we'll click Save on that now we will come back in and edit this You'll notice that now the image is much larger up there because we have a much larger final image. So we'll go ahead and select a portion of that, click Save. You'll notice that it's still a little blurry, but it, it does seem to be a little bit better. We will also come in on our configuration page and we will go to Image Styles. Because if you come back to this article content type, and you click on manage display you'll notice that the image style that's being used is the large image style 
So if we come back to our image styles here and we click on edit for large, we could add a different, completely different image style if we wanted, but I'm going to just edit the default large image style. Click on override defaults and I'm going to change this so it does not scale it only it scales the width to 640 which in that case will be the same size we could scale this lower but if we set two values here then as you can see it can sometimes distort the image a little bit and this will just help make it a little bit cleaner or at least it should so now that we have saved that now when we refresh this this will get a little larger as you can see it's already starting to look quite a bit better now still a little bit blurry we'll also come in here to image toolkit and make sure you change your JPEG quality to 100 and click save And this is if you're using the GD toolkit uh, you may also be using image magic instead if you have that installed and some of this is going to be dependent on what's installed on your server now if we come in And change that click on the save button and you can see it's significantly better than what it previously was it's still not what I would consider 100 percent perfect but because of we uploaded such a huge high quality image this is still very good and so that's all that we're going over today on the daily dose of Drupal if you have any questions about what I went over or if you have any ideas for future episodes you can contact me, like I said before, on Twitter or on CodeKarate.com. Thanks for watching today's episode of the Daily Dose of Drupal, and we will be back again tomorrow.